So let's get tactical. We'll do um, a rapid fire 20, 30 second answers. If you can just kind of run through these from a dad's perspective, these are some of the burning questions, some of the easy ones, right? Um, and then we'll, we'll land the plane here and, uh, and I know you're, you're very busy. So first, shaving legs, when to have that discussion, how does all that work for dads? Um, when she feels insecure about it and it's okay. Okay, good, good. Uh, the period talk, if the father and the wife are both in the same house, that's usually something the wife might take on. Mm -hmm. um, what role does the father have in that? And then if dad is alone or maybe the wife is uh, not around as much, how does that period talk go about? Um, first of all, understanding when it happens. And, and there's, again, understanding the signs to it, right? And have that conversation when and if. Preparation is key. So that she's prepared something in her, her gym bag, something in her school bag, whatever. So she's always 100% prepared and have it in your car as well. Wherever Even you before you, you're just assuming it's going to happen in the next six you know, months or so. Have a little bag, change of clothes, always have a change Always have a change of clothes. Always have a few things for her, no matter where you go. Mom's car, dad's car, always. Ear piercing. When to? Oh, um, it, that's sort of personal. Again, when you think she's ready to take care of them. Right? When she's when she, you think she's mature enough to take, to take care of them. And you can also limit studs only. Right? Younger, but you can limit studs only or smaller only so we're not ripping them. Got it. And then finally, wearing makeup. That's going to come up obviously sooner than later. They're a personal, a personal decision, but I always give the advice. Um, if she can wash her face for at least six months without issue every day, then she's ready for makeup. So if she can take care of her hygiene for six months and take care of her skin, then you she can be ready for makeup because without that if she doesn't have that routine down the makeup's just going to introduce bacteria yeah and everything we talked about starting so she's in the driver's seat see what happened there she's in the driver's seat right so she has to show it's a it's a regimen right so she, let her drive that ship and then the so, other the other plot positive is when her skin's when her skin looks good she might not want to cover it up with makeup very so good point. why she wants to wear the makeup Fascinating. Okay. So helpful. This is great. We can just continue the conversation forever. Um, I have two more questions for you. The first is, is there anything that you want dads in general to know that we haven't talked about, you know, 20, 30 seconds that you think is super important? Oh gosh. We're um, again, um, when she pushes, hold her, hold her closer. Right. Um, and spend time. Like, I think those are the big takeaways of a dad. Your role is more important than you realize. And the language, Perfect. Thing, obviously. Perfect. Before my last question, where can people find you, all the good work that you're doing, and uh, definitely get in with some of your products? Yeah. So goodforyougirls.com, all spelled out. Um, and there's also an info at and I love to talk to dads. They make me cry, which is really crazy. Um, they're so they're so wonderful. But um, info at good for you girls um, oh, will be forwarded directly to me. So if you have questions about the stage where your daughter's in, you need any advice, feel free to reach out. I'm there. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so my final question for you, this doesn't have to be puberty related or even girls related, but um, one of my role models, um, Graham Cochran, asked this question at the end of his podcast. And it's a similar question. I call it kind of like your diamond advice. Your daughters are grown now, but if they forgot everything they taught you that you taught them, what would be one piece of advice that you would want them to keep and uh, be able to move on with their lives? Oh my gosh, do I have any advice? Um, I think it's self-worth. Um, yeah, wow. Um, pause. I think it's instinct, instinct. Um, instinct, we've got it. Women have it. And that's another thing during puberty is when that develops as women. Um, that's why being quiet, um, listen to your instincts. I think that's a huge pause, listen. 
and then move forward. You know, trust your instincts, they're there for a reason.